And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spooky Heimer to finish out our Heimer Dinger Spotlight Night stream. So far, so good. We've had some a couple of good Heimer Dinger decks so far, um, and we're going to try another one here with Shadow Isles. And this one's actually kind of like that Draven Heimer, kind of. But you know, like we're playing uh, Shadow Isles for different interaction and everything, and we got Ezreal in here. Instead of, you know, instead of Draven, that's going to be our other three mana champion. And we're still playing Tribeam and Probulator. So all three of these decks have been Heimerdinger with Tribeam and Probulator with a different three mana champion, Aphelios, Draven, and Ezreal. Uh, let's see. This deck is going to be, hopefully, very good against Aurelia Azir decks with having lots of removal with, like, Withering Whale and the Box to help out with Static Shock and Tribeam and Get Excited and Black Spear, which is always awesome. And then Vile Feast, Unspeakable Horror to kind of pair with Mystic Shots. We have like a good, um, you know, good bevy of different two mana removal spells. Um, so Warden's Prey, I'm using Warden's Prey instead of um, Hapless Aristocrat because I like that Last Breath Follower. There's 14 Last Breath Followers and nine of the 14, I think, are better than a Spiderling. Five of them are probably worse than a Spiderling. Um, but with this deck, with playing Rummage and some Treasure... It's okay to have like those extra cards to discard, right? So like if we create a last breath follower that's not any good, we discard it, draw another card, right? So we can use um, this created card as um, some uh, discard fodder. Kind of the same thing with Unspeakable Horror. You know, like maybe we hit a Nightfall card that's really good. If we don't, we can discard it. So like that kind of stuff. All right, but let's go ahead and just get to it. Let's play some Spooky Heimer. All right, Draven Jinx. I'm gonna play some aggro. It's a good hand to keep. We got our bot creating the ignition to discard to the Sum Treasure to fuel Tribeam and Probulator. Cool, and then Withering Whale <clears throat> can always be very important in this matchup. Ooh, didn't go with the Jury Rig block. Just take the two for now. Try being for two to kill that thing, but hope they don't have vision. Now we're cooking. We buffed up that thing, not the battlecaster, because the battlecaster only attacks for two. That's got to be another vision, right? Or or a whirling death. Yeah, whirling death. <laughs> Fessy Spectre. Pesky Spectre isn't the best. Maybe I'll just go Ignition Doom Beast, actually. That's that's probably what I just do. Let's just go Ignition Doom Beast. So I wanted to keep Tribeam and Probulator for... Uh, I guess I still can. I guess we just go this route. I wanted to keep that for um, for Jinx. I know they're going wide, but I, I do have Withering Well. But the problem is, is like this... Um, this Flame Chompers is a problem because they force me to block the Flame Chompers. It's 
so many Dravens. This didn't go great for me. You suck. Four, three. Gross. Saving the point of life. So Heimer plus make turrets or Ezreal plus make Mystic Shot. Didn't work. Yeah, try being private there isn't ridiculous. Hey, cool. Um, I could, I could see try being private there going to five mana. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be too surprised about that, honestly. I can see that happening. <laughs> so if they have... Um... Gosh, this doesn't... I guess if they have, uh, what's it called? If they have a, a get excited in hand, I'm just dead no matter what. Because I'm, I'm dead to get excited plus super mega death rockets. So I'm dead no matter what. So we'll just go and throw both these out there. Gotta hope they don't have, don't have that. I, I think like looking back at this game, I think that I had the tools to win. I think that this was one that, um, I think I, I, it seemed like, every, like, yeah, I, th I think that I could have saved a, a spell to kill the Jinx better, and I think I could have maybe kept more life available, all that kind of stuff, so. I think I could have done better. I also should not have played that Rocket Blaster, because obviously they're going to want to play this. What are the chances of 26? Yeah, bye bye. I've been holding the pesky specter to discard, but I kind of want to just play it to hope that they draw a pesky specter. Two out of twenty-eight, not a very good chance. Like seven percent chance. But, I mean, 7% chance. Yeah, I think a, I think a 5 mana tribeam does make a lot of sense. Okay, they conceded. We got them. They had some poor draws their last few, just kept on drawing units. They didn't draw those get excited to finish me out. Talia Malphite. Okay. We don't have ways to, like we're not playing Scorched Earth, right? Like we don't have like the ways to deal with landmarks too much. No, not really. 
All right, well, Mulligan Heimer. Like, what are we, like, what are we Mystic Shotting against, like, Talia Malphite? Like, I don't even know. Like, do we just send that back? Do I just keep Heimer? I kind of want to keep Heimer. Sure. I... Mulliganing Mystic Shot's really weird. I just don't really know, like, what kind of target, like, we'll have for it. But it's still quite weird, Mulliganing that card. It's probably one that says that what we should keep. So I'm glad it's not Rock Hopper. I don't really want any of my things Rock Hoppered. I'm happy it's not that. Nah, it's not worth it. And I definitely don't want a Mystic Shot Chip, right? I mean, Chip's too cool for that. Do I? Ooh, thing's hmm. Prime, I'm ready. So I'm not playing Ezreal. Oh, I guess I have that extra main. I guess you guys throw that thing out there. But anyway, I'm not playing Ezreal so that I can go Heimer this round. That card's big. See, that's why I like Warren Spray. You know, Warren Spray just got us something to discard. I don't know. I kind of like that card. Where are we at? Two out of four. That's not that many. What's in that? The Trinitum? The Quadranium Power Cells? This ain't hanging off us, man. So ordinary. I should probably be saving that spell mana. Right, well, good thing I didn't um, throw a static shock at that thing yet. Alright, so Ezreal only needs six more to level up. That's not that much. Always be good. I wonder if they're gonna be a hush deck. I could kind of see see them being a hush deck. It's basically hush. Basically hush. Yay, tri beam. Always happy to see a good tri beam. I'm reading is awesome. That yeah, card's good. He's got blockers for days. Do I like want to ruination? Can you improve perfection? Join me if you want to live. 
I mean, I can... Like, like I could have played the Doom Beast to help out Tribeam. They have a lot of cards over there. These Preservariums, they have lots of cards. How do I kill these Tolerans? I like seeing more of those. All right, Tribune's up to two. I should have played Doom Beast first to get the Vulnerable instead of this Overwhelm, because this Overwhelm turret's like actually useful. No, Ru Ruination won't give, will not give T-Hex. That would be cool if it did, but it does not. If I play the wrench bot, we get like the plus one power on the ballistic bot on both ballistic bots. That's why I'm considering doing it. But I guess we should probably keep the storm lovers. Hmm. I feel like I'm gonna have to be playing ruination kind of soon. Sure. That's fine with me. But I guess they're worried about their life total as well. This is my Snow on my head, rain on my feet. Yeah, we can, so yeah, Unstoppable is slow, so we can Ruination afterwards, but then if we do that, and we do Ruination afterwards, um, that's not a good card. Then they can build a board after my Ruination, because like their, their card only costs two mana, and my card costs nine mana. So they get to board, they get to build a board afterwards and that kind of takes up like my round that's what I'm worried about I'm really glad they're continuing to use these. These shape stones that would save their Talia from a Mystic Shot. So they still have 8 mana. Can you improve perfection? Ride of Negation. That's a card. 
<laughs> this is why you just don't play. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's why you just don't play Ruination. You just always. I. Anytime I ever try to cast Ruination in a game, I, I always lose. I don't know if I. Like. I don't remember the last time I won a game that I played Ruination in. This is definitely the matchup I wanted to play. Right? Like, I, this is what the deck is kind of geared towards. So it'll be really interesting to see. So we have, you know, Mystic Shot, Static Shock, Thermo. Yeah. Do we have enough removal for the early stuff? And waiting on that for Static Shock. We can take one point of damage. This is the first time they didn't have the landmark on two. Today. Sure hope they don't have shape stone. Alright, good. Alright, we gotta build these tri beams up. Man, that's a lot of tri beams. Man, what am I doing here? I can't discard tri beam, can I? No, I can't. So I discard thermo? Do I discard Heimer? Actually, yeah, I discard Heimer. Yeah, I mean, because I'm, you know, like my my play is just you know playing these dredgers and stuff, and it's gonna be a little while before we play Heimer. Hey, Krabby. That's my face. Yeah, not ideal. I did not want to discard Heimer. Man, them not having Shape Stone makes life a lot easier. Every blade, every beat in its place. So the two drop that I got from from that was this thing. I mean, I'll, I'll just block here. Okay. Vile Feast? Man, that card's good, too. What do you do when, I'm like, all of your cards are good? Watch me now. I've seen us have a lot of good cards, Azir. I've seen us have a lot of good cards. Show them no weakness. But we're not out of the not out of the woods. That card's good. Just like we prepped. All right, cool, cool. Uh, I guess I'm playing Withering Whale this round. Um, yeah. Now I feel like we're out of the woods. One little card left over there. We're at 17. Oh, our cards are too good. Gosh, I guess I have to discard some treasure, but some treasure is amazing. <laughs> I guess I, did I discard Black Spirit? Oh, but that card's really good. Give you steel. Stay by my side. I cannot ask for more. 
Okay. We should try to kill this thing. No. Yeah, so they're keeping, looks like they're keeping that card to protect Aurelia. Alright, so there really is leveled up. We were born in the first land, and we will defend them until the end. I probably should not have got rid of that black spear. I'm very much regretting getting rid of that black spear right now. Of course, now they have Blade Surge that can protect Aurelia. Trying to bait Blade Surge out. That's such a bad Blade Surge by them. They should really use that Blade Surge to protect it from removal. But I don't know what this other card is. If this other card is also protection from removal. But then, to be fair, I mean, they, they don't, their only card to protect it with is the 4 3, so. Oh, Draven Ezreal. Okay. So, Captain Farron is the card that I'm scared of the most. I think the other things I'll be able to handle decently. I need something to discard with Get Excited, but Get Excited is just so good against Draven, and they always, always have Draven on three. It's a rule when you play Draven Ezreal. This would be such a good Thermo Hand, having Flash of Brilliance. Gross. I am superior life form. Okay, so they just didn't play... I'm sure they have Draven on three, but they just didn't play because they didn't want it to die to removal. I guess I'll just wait one more turn and maybe see like what we draw to discard to get excited for next round. I know I could like Flash of Brilliance and then see what that is and then maybe discard that, but having Flash of Brilliance for whenever we have Heimer Dinger in play is just so much better. All right, looks like it's going to be a black spear. You suck. All right, so they have six cards. I have five cards, so they're up a card. Crazy, man. There's Tribeam. Wish I would have had, <laughs> you know, wish I would have played that three mana card after Tribeam. So they're at 10 cards. They got to play something. We finally found a unit, but. Obviously, it's going to die to, like, eight of these ten cards <laughs> that my opponent plays. So it's maybe better to not play a unit. And this card. But it helps out my tribe even probably later. I feel like I'm supposed to play this Ballistic Bot. But I also kind of like that they're passing. I mean, they're, 
they're definitely just countering this with another mystic shot. Well, that thing's not available anymore to kill Heimerdinger. So we have four cards and a 4-2 in play, and they have seven cards. We're not doing as well on the whole card situation. Okay, I love that. So they've discarded two thermos. their last culling strike, considering I'm an Ezreal Heimerdinger deck. That's their last one of those. And now we're back to 5-5, five and five, card-wise. So not bad. Not having um, that Thermo could really hurt against Farron. They haven't played Farron so far. Very risky indeed. Probably beam's a little bit bigger than ours. Stay back. Why do you have to be so furious? One, I'm, I'm blocking the 6-6, six, six, I just don't know which one to block with. I guess, I guess it's, it's this thing. do a lot for me. You can definitely see like blocking the first one and just so, to let this warden spray die to see like what kind of card that we get afterwards.
Ugh. Need one more mana. Yeah, it's yeah, it's very possible. Like Chat's talking about, like that's the best, especially where this matchup is. That probably was the very best seven mana unit to get. Yeah, the, the Fury, the Scout. Like, oh, it's very large. It probably was for, especially for this game. All right, here we go. If this Warden's Prey wasn't in play, we would get Heimerdinger for our next one. Don't touch that. So I could... Thermo first, and we do four damage to them, but I want the opportunity to maybe make some Mystic Shots no sweat. for free. Gotcha. Gotcha. Which maybe that isn't worth very much, making that Mystic Shot. But we get to hold on to Thermo. They can kill something else. Yeah, Warren's Prey. Lock that Ballistic Bot. I want to play Doom Beast, but... <laughs> Why does this have to be Thermo Junk Beam that costs millions of mana? Like, is it just like a four mana card we could just like kill this bot and then play Doom Beast? Join me if you want to live. Toad's good. The world's a big place. All right, we're not that far off from killing them. Ezreal could be a good blocker. Oh, man. then that thing gives them a blocker also. Ugh. Man, because if it's just any removal spell... Oh, wait, that only does one damage. That's not killing Ezreal. The only reason to play that would be this, top, this other card is Ravenous Flock. So if it is Ravenous Flock, I can force their Ballistic Bot to block, which I guess I have to do that. To say those can't block, so Ballistic Bot has to trade so that it goes away so they don't get to create more cards. Alright, so we're both in top deck mode. We've used all of our Ezreals. They obviously have an extra unit than what we'd have. We're at 10 cards left, they're at 12 cards left. I don't think I have anything like too special to draw. Wow, what a, that's a good draw. That's a good draw. So I have to play this to block, so I'm down to one. That was pretty good. 
They're at two. Discarded a couple of Mystic Shots already. Basically make it where that one two couldn't block. That could be good. Witness perfection, meat bags. Man, this game's so close. Eminently logical. Don't blink. Oh, that card's really good. What's that last card? I don't know what it is. What what could that last card be? Is that game? What are they holding on to? That they haven't played. You're between me and glory. Oh, is a mystic shot? Sure. So close. Wow, what a game. What a game. Truly remarkable. Oh, it was mystic shot. So I Okay, now we get to finish out the day with Thresh Nasus. Try to get another 4-1. Vengeance is amazing against Nasus, but can I can I afford to keep Vengeance in my hand whenever I... Like, I really want that... Like, Nasus is a hard card for me to kill, so I really want this for Nasus. I guess I can keep it. The box... It's gonna be weird. Like, the box can be amazing against, like, Curse Keeper shenanigans. Gotta hope our cards line up. I I hate seeing the Glimpse Beyonds, right? Glimpse Beyonds probably the worst card in my deck uh, to see. It's like, after this mulligan, these Glimpse Beyonds are kind of useless. Alright, Mystic Shot's good, though. Doing that right now before they can Glimpse Beyond. I can rummage away the two Glimpse Beyonds. So that's honestly not. It's honestly not the worst. I thought you'd never ask. Can they still have mana? Seriously? Like, this would have been a perfect to the box. Would have killed all three of those. <laughs> Just one more mana. Here comes a bunch more cards. Yeah, because I thought I thought they were only playing the 3-1, and then like I was going to block the 2-1 with my 1-3. But yeah, obviously they just play all this other stuff. and That made things not great. So by round three, they'd attack for 12, plus I had, you know, by round three, they'd had attack for 12, plus I had also um, already killed a 3-1. We really didn't draw well after the mulligan, though. We drew the Mystic Shot. One good card, and then besides that, Glimpse Beyond, Glimpse Beyond, Heimer, Heimer. <laughs> like, these are the worst cards in our deck. Uh, to have, like, whenever we're trying to stabilize against this this fast aggressiveness. Like, against this swarm of the board. This is... These are the worst cards. So, this didn't work out. No way. Gee, geez.
is very over. Few can know what death and eternity hold in store. I need I still need one more mana, right? Like I need a withering will right here, and then they play something else before attacking because then they're scared, and then I ruination. But I'm gonna be one mana short from that. Zach Lethal. Okay, some games just aren't meant to be. Some games just aren't meant to be. Okay, so there we go. So that's going to be um, that's going to be it here for Spooky Heimer. Uh, wasn't meant to be that last game, but still, we played some really cool games in there, um, including that that game four <laughs> against Draven Ezreal. That was an all timer. Very glad they never had Captain Farron. Um, yes, yeah, so that's another another way to play Heimerdinger. I think I would have to say that this deck definitely felt competitive. I think this deck's going to be very good against Aurelia Azir. We only got to see one of those matches, but it really looked good for us. Um, yeah, and so there we go. So there, that's Spooky Heimer. Um, so overall, with our different Heimer, Heimerdinger decks, we went 9 and 6 today. So 9 and 6. Three wins above 500. That's, you know, we'll take that. Um, kind of, so that's like averaging 3-2 each one of those decks. Hey, <laughs> you did not jump very high. You got in your mouth. 60% uh, win rate with Heimerdinger over in Master's Rank. So, yeah, so Heimerdinger is still a pretty decent champion. You know, you're not going to win every single game, but we will take that. Anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Feel free to leave those comments. Hopefully y'all liked the Champion Spotlight this week. We'll be having another one of these next week as well. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I can never, ever say that enough. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.